Hey class, Absolute 5 here, and today we're going to talk about subtracting polynomials. Okay, so how do we do this? Sorry. That's fine. To subtract polynomials, you have to change the signs of the terms of the polynomials of the polynomial, excuse me, being subtract, whoops, I need more space. <laughs> Sorry about that. Being subtracted and then add. Okay, so let's go down. So what's our first example? We have 5x minus 3 minus parentheses 2x minus 11. Now, in the other video, I explained that you have to distribute the minus sign or the plus sign. You have to do the same thing for the minus sign into each of these terms. So I'm going to remove the parentheses from both these two terms. So this is 5x minus 3, so that's normal. Negative times a positive is going to be negative 2x. Negative times a negative will be positive 11. And then you just simply add and combine like how we were doing with addition. So I'm going to underline the ones I'm going to combine. So I have 5x minus 2x minus 3 plus 11. Then I get 3x plus 8 as my final answer. Hold on, let me get more space. Okay, good. So that's one example. We have plenty more examples to go through. Now what happens if I have 2x to the third plus 8x squared minus 6x take away 2x to the third minus x squared plus 1 I achieve, I distribute the negative sign to both terms. That's the first thing you do. Worry about the sign first, and then you'll worry about combining later. So the first part, I leave, I leave the same. It's not affected by the minus sign. It's the second term. So remember, negative times positive, negative. Negative times negative, positive. And negative times positive, negative. So now we got to underline the terms were to combine. So the first one we can see 2x to the third minus 2x to the third, they drop out and they're the same thing. Only difference is that they are the same, the different signs and therefore they, they cancel out. So the next term I look at is my x squared exponents. So I'm gonna rewrite them as 8x squared plus x squared minus 6x minus one. See, there's nothing else to combine. Only thing I have left to combine is these two. So I have 9x squared minus 6x minus 1 as my final answer for that one. Let's do probably two more. So the, 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 the issue that many students have with this section is that they rush, oopsie, they rush and that they're not patient enough to actually go through the steps. And I understand when you get really good at this, you kind of say, ah, this is so easy. I should just skip the step. That's where you're gonna make the mistake the most when you're gonna to assume to not take it, not to take your time. You make the mistake during that moment and then you're gonna regret it because you lose a lot of points for this. All right, so first step, distribute the negative sign. So it'll be 9x plus five minus four x plus three. Now we, re now we reorder this so we can combine like terms afterwards. So we have 9x minus four x plus five plus three. I get 5, oopsie, 54, how? 5x, because 9 minus 4 is 5x, plus 8 as my answer. Let's do a really hard one. This is a nice hard one, so you guys could uh, take notes on this one. Plus, so this is, oopsie, 5y squared plus 2y minus six minus parentheses minus three y squared minus two y plus 11. So what does that leave me with? Well, first off, remember, you have to distribute the negative sign into every single term that's being subtracted. You never, you never distribute 
don't ever do this. Please don't do that. Don't distribute this way. That that doesn't make any sense. You're gonna end up regretting it, and it's not worth. It's not worth it. Just don't do that. Always to the right in this case. So it's five y squared plus two y minus six. Negative times negative, positive three y squared. Negative times negative would be positive two y. Negative times positive minus eleven. So again, we underline each each uh, term we're going to combine in the end. So this way we know how to reorder this. So we have 5y squared plus 3y squared plus 2y plus 2y minus 6 minus 11. So 5y squared plus 3y squared gives me 8y squared. 2y plus 2y is 4y. Now, this is what a lot of students forget. They feel like when they see negative 6 minus 11, they might put negative 5 as their answer. No, you're not subtracting subtraction. It doesn't make any sense. Remember, when the signs are the same, you keep the sign and you add the exponents. When up, when, so remember, this. you apply that rule when you're not multiplying. You clearly see there's a multiplication. You have a minus sign and another minus sign. That means you have to keep the sign and add the numbers. And that will be your answer for that problem there. So I'm going to give you guys this one for homework. Do 4x to the third minus 10x squared plus 1 minus parentheses minus 4x to the third plus x squared minus 11. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So that's the lesson for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Mash the bell button for more content. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. This has been Absolute 5. I'm Roger Palomino. Math is infinite because there are infinitely many possibilities. And don't forget, don't hate, calculate.